So here is a quick ink drawing. I've just painted the background of this skull, like a demon skull. Um, and we're going to do some splatter technique. I'm just going to use acrylic white and also, wherever I put it, oh, it's here. <laughs> acrylic black um, for the more whiter areas, the black. And then obviously the white is going to, you know, be on the black background so I've just put a couple of drops of water in this uh, little lid and I'm gonna do the white first just put a certain amount in the not too much and I'm gonna show you the toothbrush technique now these are really hard bristles so they can you can do a real fine um, sort of splatter or spatter technique. Um, so what I want to do is just dip that into the paint and then get a bit of water on it as well, just to water it slightly. But I'd rather want it to be quite thick. And then you can just use, you know, your thumb or finger and just splat away you want really um, I like to do it outwards so you can angle it in a certain way but it's usually like a fine spray with a, like a, a toothbrush but it is pretty useful so you know you can just do it like that or you can get paintbrush and you get another paintbrush but maybe use the handle of the other paintbrush then load up the brush get a little bit of water on it just to you don't want too much water on it otherwise the you know the paint will go slightly transparent and you, you don't really want that you want it to be like totally white so it'll cover the black and look quite effective so you just load the brush like that and then you can angle it as well and the thing about this technique is you can get some really good drips um, and splatters but you can also get like lines of splatter which um, hopefully will do it right now there's a few lines in there and it's a really good technique oh yeah like that and you just keep doing this as however long you want to, you know, do this technique to cover the background in white. And the more, you know, you flick it, like the more concentrated, like the area of focus will be for the splatter. So I mean, you could add like little splatters on the black areas, actually, on the skull or anywhere really just try and angle it how you want you know so if you're, you're facing this way you know with the paint brushes the splatter should go that way just make sure it doesn't go on anything you don't want <laughs> splattered with paint I've done that before there we go that's them lines that you want you know little lines of splatter they look real cool and the more you can do this you know the the better the effect I mean don't worry about it going over your you know your line drawing or anything because you can always go back over that you know with ink pens and things like that it's the overall effect you want to get some giant well not giant splatters but large drips there that just varies up the the load of the splatter really so it, that's what you're aiming for quite like the variation of splatters don't have to do it too close to the paper because it's not worse than getting a really good splatter and then uh, the paintbrush goes on the paper and then it looks not very good and just do a bit more of this one 
I want to try a, a larger brush. See if I can get some good splatters. I'll just put that over there for now. I'll use another brush. But I'll use a larger brush and I'll see what it looks like. If I can really load that brush. I think you've got to keep it even. Get a bit of water in it as well. Go back to the thicker paint. And see if it gets like a larger sort of way of uh, doing the no it's a bit far it's worth a try it's worth a try doing different sort of ways of working ah yeah if you do it if you flick it a bit harder the paintbrush it goes yeah more focused That's good. And that's really how you can do different splatter effects. Um, that's the white. So what we'll do, I'll just wash these brushes, come back and we'll do some black splatters. And you see the contrast between the two, they really work effective. Right, so I've got another lid there, which I can put the black on. I'll just remove that old crusty bit of uh, paint there and we don't need a lot just a blob of that and then we can just do the same just wash this brush slightly um, I think we need a, a little bit of water so just pop a bit of water in just a splash And then we could just do the same with the black. Just load the brush. A little bit of water, not too much. And just mix it a bit further away from the water. As long as you load the brush, then you can just do exactly what you did with the white. Um, normally I'd let the white dry. Or if it was doing the black, I'd let the black dry and then do the white. But this is a video. I'm just showing you the techniques, it doesn't really matter really. Um, and then we just find out, usually if there's a lot of black shading around the eyes, maybe try and do, oh yeah, I like them, experimental splatters there. And we just do the ink going in different places and it it does look quite effective don't mind if it goes in the eyes because I can really paint that out a bit more and change things as we go along with the drawing reload the brush up a bit a bit more water I think it needs to be a bit more like runny Splatters. Can't really see that as much as the white, but if I move it slightly up, you can see the the splatters in it. It just adds an extra like tone to the, you know, the drawing and uh, things like that. So if you was to colour this. It um it had a, a a different sort of dimension to it and a bit of depth anyway, so it's it's pretty good. And I can wait for this to dry and then probably start inking little bits in between just to bring the skull together. I mean the shape of the skull almost looks like there's a hole there and something that's best now, so I'll probably do more white splatter there or I don't know, just see how it goes. But that's how you do splatter techniques. You can use other tools. Um, which I'll probably do in another video or like a more advanced sort of video but there we go